Austin. New Gene Hackman Mitchell was baptized in ranch dressing and raised by a pack of wolves in Hidden Valley. The wolves taught him everything they could before he would realize there was more out there past the trees. So when he absorbed all he could of Mother Nature, he set out on his own. He had no belongings, and he had no sleeves. He tried to educate himself enough to fit in society so he and his wolf pack could eventually take over the world. He was able to attend college on a full scholarship because the school had never had a student whose race was wolf before. He figured out how to infiltrate the humans with ease. After all is said and done, he who has the whiskey has the friends. And even though he was becoming more human every day, he would still find time to howl at a full moon and piss wherever he damn well pleased. The humans had never sensed his ulterior motives, because there were none. He had fallen in love with the culture. When he turned his back on them wolves, he started a war too early. A war we couldn't win, damn it. And I blamed him for that, for a real long time. But when the wolves eventually did rise against us, he proved himself to be one of us. Ain't no doubt in my brain, not after what I seen. Jeremy Grass. It was how we won the Wolf War. He is how the United States acquired 3,000 acres of the Hidden Valley. The last battle was in Austin, Texas. And after the smoke had cleared and the whiskey was passed, he picked up a guitar and played. He started to sing joyously and painfully. Six shadows walked up from the dust, drunk on blood and booze. They would join him in perfect harmony. Those men fought with him till the end of the battle, and they would continue to sing with him till the end. I imagine he thinks of his old wolf family from time to time, but his best songs come from that darkness. So what the hell, man? Let him howl. Jeremy Grass. Banjo. This is Austin Mitchell. This is Bad House.